Hi everyone, this is my first actual Inktober drawing video of 2017. I did make one about my inking supplies and a few tips I learned from Inktober last year, so I'll add a link if you'd like to watch that. I'm not following any prompt for my Inktober drawings. In this video I'm inking four sketches I made for paintings last spring. I'm turning the line art into coloring pages and sending them out to my email list subscribers for free. I drew the sketches on grid paper and transferred the clean lines onto drawing paper. I inked them using a black 0.5mm Faber-Castell roller pen. I did try a Stabilo permanent marker first, but the ink was bleeding on the paper, so I had to switch. I know that many people want to shade in their inktober drawings, change line weights and add black areas, but coloring pages usually don't have many blacked out areas or shading, so I'm just doing the line art. And I often struggle with how much line work is too much for a coloring page. In these drawings I left out some of the lines that were in the original sketches, ones that were indicating shadows around the nose and eyes, for example. I want to have those lines in a sketch for a painting, but I'm not sure if people want them in a coloring page. The references for these drawings were from Pretty Little Liars, although I think the likeliness was lost somewhere along the way. When I made the paintings, my favorite one was the black and white oil painting of Alison, which is the second drawing in this video. But my favorite of the ink drawings is Emily, the first one. Which one do you like the best? After inking the line art and letting it dry, I erased the pencil lines and scanned the drawings in 300 dpi, which is the resolution you need for printing in A4 size. Then I edited them in GIMP. I've made a few videos about editing drawings and artwork in GIMP before. I adjusted the levels and cleaned up some small mistakes. And then I pasted the image files into a Microsoft Word document and saved it as a PDF file. I often make some kind of a background for my coloring pages, but this time I left the backgrounds blank so you can draw your own background. If you'd like to color these pictures, all you need to do is go to the link below or on the video and sign up with your email address, go to your inbox, confirm your subscription and you'll get an email with a link to the PDF. If you're already on my email list, I'll send out the coloring pages soon. All of the four coloring pages will be in the same PDF, so remember to print it one-sided. Thanks for watching!